Hi everyone, my name is Melissa and welcome back to another Langflow tutorial. This is a highly requested video from someone in our community. We're going to be talking about web searching in Langflow and how to do it. Let's get started. Let's jump into the simple agent flow. This is a really great flow to get started if you are just learning about agents or if you are just getting started with the Langflow platform in general. Um, but as you see here, the agent component has a few tools that are connected to it already one being a calculator and one being the URL component. And the URL component is already built into Langflow, so you can bring in as many of these as you'd want, um, but one is already configured here for this agent. And it's really helpful because this allows you to ask your agent questions, and if it does not have some certain information, it uses the URL tool to then search the internet and obtain that information for you. Here's a great example. Let's actually remove this tool first. And I want to convert 200 USD to INR. And this is the response that it gives us. I currently don't have access to real-time data, including current exchange rates to get the most accurate and up-to-date conversion rate. So your model, as we've all known, is only trained up to a certain amount, a certain date. So if you ask it something that involves real-time data, it won't be able to answer that accurately. Um, and this model in particular is actually truthful and it didn't hallucinate something. Um, it was being honest, it doesn't have access to that information, but we can solve that by using the URL tool. So I'm gonna bring this back in. And here we see that it's executing the URL tool. If I just observe the drop down here, um, it's executed the URL fetch content tool. It's found this API for the current exchange rate, and it's obtained that current exchange rate to now give us an accurate response that the current exchange rate is 8521. Therefore, this is what 200 USD is in INR. It can also access URLs as well. So if I were to give it a link, let's take this blog post that I've put on our Langflow blog, for example, and I say summarize this blog post and I give it the URL. It can also use the URL component to access the link that I've given it and perform the task at hand. So now you have access in your tools, in the, in the flows that you are building to uh, external information that your model might not have access to at the given moment because everything on the internet is changing in rapid time. So aside from this, this is one example. We have another example of ways that you can incorporate web search um, in a more meaningful way and really bringing in real-time data into your flows. And that is using the Tableau AI search component. Um, again, like the URL component, it can also be a tool. All you need is an API key from Tableau. So I will go ahead and put mine here that's saved as a global and I'll connect this. And Tableau is great because it searches the internet um, the same way Google would, uh, Google or Bing or any other search engine would, but this is optimized for LLMs and AI applications in particular. So um, instead of you having to retrieve certain URLs, maybe from a Google search, it gives you the URLs and then you would have to proceed to then scrape and fetch specific content based on your query. Um, Tavily uses LLMs to be able to intuitively scrape the information that you're most likely looking for and return a really meaningful response. Again, searching the internet. So if I give a request like, Find me the best deals on the Nintendo Switch. And here's the response that we get. Um, you can also say, provide the links to these websites. And there you have it. It gives you links that are explaining the best places to buy um, the Nintendo very relevant to giving you information about where to purchase um, and again clickable links directly to the websites that are all valid and just additional ways that you can bring in web search um, searching the internet into your link flow flows and the AI applications that you're building. I hope this helped in getting you jump started with web search in Langflow. If you found this helpful, leave a like. And if you have any questions, then join us in the Discord and continue the conversation. Happy coding and good luck with your Langflow flows.